Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to swap out the spur and pinion gear on the Traxxas Max. You know, I'm putting different size tires on the Max, and so I've got to gear it down. I'm going to be putting a smaller tooth pinion on there, and I'm going to be putting a metal tooth spur gear on there to handle that different size pinion. And this works on the V1 Max and the V2 Max. So no matter what version you have, you do it the exact same way on both versions. Here we are with the Traxxas Max. This is the pinion and the spur gear parts numbers that we're using. It's a 20 tooth pinion and a 50 tooth spur gear as a beefy boy isn't it it's off the x max too it fits the s max and the max that's a, a serious gear i've already got the pinion on there but i'm going to show you how to change it out while i'm changing the spur anyways we'll be removing that screw that screw that screw and that screw to start off with and now we're going to get this little screw right back here and it's a 2.5 millimeter. There's one more screw right back here on the far side. There's one more screw left, but you don't have to remove that one. That one just holds this cover onto this main piece. And that comes off like that. And there's all your gears. This whole section comes right on out. Careful not lose your bearings and everything off of it. Go ahead and take that off so you don't lose anything. All right. Pull that gear off. There's a little pin that drops out right there. And there is the spur. There are three screws. They're flat on top. And there are three there are button heads. We're going to take the button heads out. Now you can pull the spur gear off just like that. The new spur gear, not that side, but this side goes right back on it. Somehow. There, that's a little tight, but there it fits. Perfect. Just put your three screws back in. Reassemble everything. Put that gear back over. Make sure that pin is in there. All right. Bearing. Bearing. And we're going to set this aside. And real quick, in case you didn't know, on the pinion gear, it'll have the number of teeth. It says 24 right there. Then there's an M1 right there. And the M1 is the pitch. And here's a 50 tooth spur and right there I'll tell you that's a M1. The M1 tells you the size of the gears so you want to have the matching pitch that's what the pitch is and then the tooth will tell you the tooth count obviously and that's it's that simple. Now to get that pinion gear what we're going to do is we're going to flip the max over and there are two screws this one right here and there's one down inside that hole right there. Take both of these out. Hold the motor in place the whole time you're doing that so it doesn't fall out when you flip it over. I spun it around and when you take this motor out, there's a little pin. There it is right there. Sometimes it's going to be there, sometimes it's going to be right there. You got to keep track of this little pin. This is how you line up your spur and your pinion gear. There it is. Don't lose that. Now I've already replaced the pinion gear, so I'm not going to take it off. <laughs> Once my pinion is set, if it's working, I don't mess with it. But there's a little screw right here. You just undo that screw. You pull it off the shaft. There's a flat area right there. And you just put the new pinion on there and you can tighten it right now. But you're going to readjust it once you get your spur put back in there. So you see all these little holes right here. And down here, there's a bunch of little holes too. And you will see there's like A, B, C, D beside all of these holes. And what you will do, oh look, it has the stock gearing right there on the side there. That's, that's cool. I didn't notice that when I did it before. When you look at the manual, what you'll see, this is the manual for the Max. You can go on the Jackson website and I'll have your, like your spur and your pinion gears right there. But it has this little chart right here. 
And this little chart, what it does is it tells you, you put your pinion gear and your spur gear and it will tell you what hole to put it into. So we have a 20 tooth pinion gear and a 50 tooth spur gear. So it's the A hole. <laughs> um, 12. And there's the, uh, the hole labeled A. That is where the pin goes. And that lets you line this up and you don't have to worry about your mesh. These two, I don't know you call them uh, rails. Uh, I guess they're rails. They fit right in these slots right here. And it allows the motor to slide back and forth. But that little pin that goes in this hole, that prevents it from moving side to side. And so you don't have to worry about your mesh. You just put your pin in the hole that you are supposed to put it into and it will stop the motor from sliding left and right. You really don't have much control over your mesh on this thing, which is really nice. It's very convenient. So let's take this little pin and stick it right in the hole labeled A. Yes, I'm saying it intentionally like that. So we're trying to keep the channel family friendly if I can. <laughs> and I am lining up that slot right there. I'm kind of putting it in that slot and you can, you can, I don't know if you can see it on camera. I can kind of see it, but just, I'm just sliding this back and forth until it finds the hole. There it goes right there and it's down in there. So we're going to hold this together as we flip it over and drop the screws in and start screwing it down now i like to tighten these almost all the way down i'll back it off just a little bit then i'll tighten the other one down now that i have that one tight now i will tighten this one and i do that that way the motor is where it's supposed to be now we simply drop the spur back in there the mesh is already set and that's all you have to do. Normally what you would do is you put a piece of paper between the pinion and the spur gear and you use that piece of paper to adjust your mesh. But you don't do it on this one. That little pin adjusts it for you and you don't have to worry about getting the correct mesh. It's kind of already automatically set. Now we're just going to put the cover back on. Now I do not lube my spur and pinion on the Max because it dirt gets inside of there. And if you put lubricant on the gears, the dust and debris will hang up on the spur gear and the pinion gears, and it will be very abrasive and chew your gears up. So I'd rather run them dry than put lubrication on there. Now, I actually did not tighten that screw down. I'm going to put all these screws in first, and then I'm going to come back and tighten that screw right there. Now that we have this cover back on, what we're going to do is we're going to take this right here off. And we're going to look and make sure our spur and our pinion gear are lined up. So we're not going to check the mesh because the mesh is already set. So we're going to center it a little bit better. You can see there's a little bit of water in there from where I washed it and cleaned it. And we're going to slide it down just a little bit. And we're going to center that spur and pinion together. Tighten it down. It's already got Loctite on there. And hopefully we're good to go. Let's put that cover back on. Let's do screws. Finally tighten this screw right here. And that's it. It is that easy. Put my rear tires on there. Just uh all right, guys, so there you go. That's how you swap out the spur and pinion on the Traxxas Max. So you can see it's not very hard. Traxxas makes it very easy to work on their RCs. That's one thing I do love about Traxxas. I will leave a link down in the description to the spur, the pinion, and the manual for the Max. So if you want to do this, you can follow along my video and do it along with me. But that's that's all I got for you today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed. Like the video if you like it, and I will see you guys later.